girl Candace Lene and I am back with another video. If you are new to this channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you have been rocking with this channel, thank you and welcome back. So the last video I posted was, I just spit, excuse me. The last video that I posted was um, me giving myself this lovely twist out as you guys can see my twist out has shriveled up a lot more it has it's a lot more frizzy than it was um and it's looking like a fro basically right now so instead of walking around with this just kind of going crazy what i want to do is kind of create a mohawk today y'all see that's kind of it's gonna be cute that's gonna be cute so that's what i'll be doing in this video i'm gonna attempt because i tried to do it yesterday this ponytail i'm just gonna leave right here and so the mohawk is kind of gonna go come down like that y'all see what i'm saying yeah okay so if you're interested in seeing what my mohawk turns out like continue watching this video Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just start sectioning my hair. For this particular fro hawk, I'm only going to do three sections just because my hair is really thick and I don't feel like I need any more than that. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to pick it just to bring the volume back, I guess. That's kind of what I'm doing. And my boyfriend was in the kitchen talking about coupons and stuff. I got excited. I said, let me do a little dance. <laughs> okay, but I'm going to go in with my day and night cream. The um, I used that in the previous video. If you guys watched that, that is the cream to oil um, moisturizer that I was using. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of put some moisture back in my hair. It looks a little dry. And then my next step is to go in with Got To Be. Now I usually would not use Got To Be for a style like this, but I cannot use Eco Style, y'all. My head and everything just hates everything about Eco Style. So all I had was that. So we're going to use that for this. And we're just gonna brush that back into the style and put the ponytail holder on it. Um, this ponytail holder I will only wrap around once because I do not want a headache and I am very headache prone. Once is good enough for me. And then I will go through Oh, well, we're going to put some bobby pins on there. And then we will go through and do the same thing on the back. I know this got to be looks terrible getting applied on my hair, but once the style is complete, I promise you will not see that at all. But I would not suggest using got to be. Now for the last ponytail, I did wrap that around two times or three times. And now I'm going to go ahead and, and fix up the top ponytail. I wasn't going to touch it initially, but it was looking kind of rough compared to the rest. I'm going to go ahead and take a spray bottle just to get it wet because this part had a lot of gel on it from the first style. 
So I wanna go ahead and spray some water on there just to um, get it from being all caked up and stuff. That would have been cute if I went in with a little bang right there, wouldn't it? I thought about it. I gotta figure out how to do that. And then my last step is to go ahead and spray water on my actual hair because, you know, water is your number one moisturizer. So I just want to make sure that it wasn't extremely dry. Okay, I lied. I thought that was my last step. Of course, of course, you got to lay the baby hairs. Got to get those right. Always. And I'm just going in with the guys to be. And once again, I wouldn't use that for my edges either. I love um, Style Factor Edge Booster. That is my number one edge control. So, yeah. Okay guys, so here is the final look. I like it. I think it's kind of cute. It turned out better than I thought it would. And um, yeah, so if you guys like this video, make sure you like it and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I'll see y'all my next one.